coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. WISC is getting ready for Quora trials in New Zealand. NASC completes test flight of Taros UAV. And Flirty is granted a patent for enhancing safety and drone delivery. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned a weekly news program covering all things unmanned, in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Sophie Herlock. The New Zealand government and WISC announced an MOU to establish a passenger transport trial in Canterbury, New Zealand for WISC self-flying electric air taxi Cora. With the agreement in place, the planning for a passenger transport trial in Canterbury is now underway. The passenger route is a world's first and will commence after core certification by the New Zealand Civil Aviation Authority. In October of 2019, the New Zealand government announced it was establishing an industry-wide airspace integration trial to work with leading domestic and international industry partners to safely test and demonstrate unmanned aircraft. WISC was announced as the first industry partner to join the program. Now let's take a quick look at a few stories making rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. It's time for today's Unmanned Minute. For over an hour last Monday, Madrid's International Airport was closed after Spain's Navigation Authority reported the possible presence of drones in the area. During this time, 26 flights had to be diverted to other airports. Residents in northeast Nebraska may be seeing some drones flying around as inspection work begins on a Nebraska Public Power District transmission line that extends from north of Norfolk through Pierce County and into Antelope County. Work began on February 10th when drones were used to take photos of structures along the high power transmission line. The photos are being taken so that NPPD can assess any maintenance work that may need to be completed along the line. Since fly through its parent organization, Parrot, has recapitalized its balance sheet and funding, guaranteeing a healthy operational outlook as it continues its growth path as a global leader in fixed-wing drones. The financial backing comes at a particularly meaningful time for Sense Fly, as it celebrates its 10th anniversary this year. Since its inception, Sense Fly has flown over 1 million flights and generated over $100 million in revenue. The unmanned hobby community, with the support of the EAA and other entities, is letting their voices be heard against the FAA's Remote ID NPRM. The interest and response to the Remote ID NPRM has been huge, with the current tally showing the comment roster totaling over 12,000 and growing. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Navmar Applied Sciences Corporation successfully completed a test flight of the NASC Taros UAV technology demonstrator at the NASC Unmanned Aerial Systems Flight Operations and Training Center at the Griffiths International Airport in Rome, New York. During the flight, the UAV flew for approximately an hour and a half in both manual and autonomous flight profiles, which successfully tested the aircraft systems and avionics suite. Considered a Group 4-5 medium altitude long endurance UAV, Taros was designed in collaboration with Sonics Aerospace, featuring a rugged aerobatic design. The UAV has a flexible plug-and-play payload capability that allows it to carry multiple payloads up to 600 pounds at high altitudes for extended periods. NASC notes that Taros was built to FAA Part 23 and MILF 83691 standards. Taros is currently undergoing preparation for follow-on envelope expansion flight testing. NASC and partner Sonics will continue to consider improvements that can be included in the next production update. Flirty has been granted a patent enhancing safety in drone flights and deliveries. This granted patent will enhance safety when drone manufacturers implement technologies such as parachutes while a drone is in flight and when it's delivering a package. The patent recognizes the ability of a drone's technology to detect an error in operation while the drone is in flight, 
ultimately deploying a safe mechanism if necessary. This action further alleviates the risk of contact and or injury to bystanders while also sparing the unmanned aircraft. In addition to the startup's drone, the Flirty Portal is its sophisticated takeoff and landing platform, which enables scalable store-to-door operations. Lastly, Flirty's autonomous software platform enables drones to deliver safely with one of Flirty's operators overseeing 10 Flirty delivery drones. Flirty has also built and patented a safety and anti-tampering system so that if someone pulled on the delivery tether, the tether has the ability to detach from the drone, ensuring safety. And that wraps up our show for today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. For more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned, head over to auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. I'll see you tomorrow.